In this episode of Film Stock Reviews, I'm reviewing episode 5 of The Old Man. Episode 5 of The Old Man is really interesting, really shocking with twists and turns, and it's own cat and mouse game. There's only two episodes left in this season because season one in total is seven episodes. Now the episode starts off with Angela and Harold evidently flying to meet Hamzat, so to speak. Well, Harper figures out that Angela is the mole. And when he comes across from his side of the plane to her side, he sits down and like, all right, Emily, what's going on? Like, he figured it out that she's Emily. She's the daughter that, you know, Dan Chase is hiding and everything happening. And then he asks her how she infiltrated the agency. And basically, she says, my father put me in there. And Chase installed her under Harold, which infuriates him and scares him even more because he's like, what just happened and what's going on? Not only that, Emily is angry and claims that she's been nothing but loyal and devoted to Harold and Harper. But, you know, Harold doesn't trust her now because of what he figured out that she's the mole. He doesn't believe her and tells her that once they're off this whole plane, she'll have to find and make a final choice as to be Angela or Emily. And she's like, I don't have a choice. I'm who I am because of my father. And we understand that certain things are happening with this. And it's so, so interesting. Now, we cut to a scene where Dan Chase, who's now angry at Zoe after what she did at the end of episode four, basically gives Zoe his bank information. And all of a sudden, Zoe's like confused. And it's like, okay, why are you doing this now? This character makes no sense at all she wants the money and then she's confused at why she's getting the money and you know she asks why and he's like what do you mean i'm just kidding. you know you, you want half here take it pin numbers there you know how to divide by two that's it you know he's like when i'm going i'm not coming back and she's confused as why he agreed and he explains that emily is in danger of everything and He'll take a one-way flight to Morocco and try to protect her. Now, this gets Zoe to, you know, ask questions. And he's like, no, I want you to come with me. Then I'll tell you everything that you want to know. Uh, okay, like, here's my thing. This character of Zoe is not really developed really well in this show. It's very underwhelming. I don't know why they have it. Maybe they gave Dan Chase a love interest because of what happened to his wife and the flashback scenes he has. But it's interesting because it's very different, so to speak, about, you know, like, okay, she hasn't been that protected, but she wants his money. Now she's very hesitant, didn't know what's happening with the daughter. That's a whole craziness that's happening. And I feel like the character is just there just to be there, just to give Dan Chase some motive to do something. Now, in the flashback scene, we see Abby and Chase listen to Faraz and Abby's sister torture a Russian prisoner. Pavlovich and he refuses to talk but then Hamza is like no he'll eventually talk in a certain way now Abby is afraid that the prisoner will say something that will destroy everything that they've built that trust the whole operation and the reason I say that is because in the middle of the night Abby meets you know Dan or John so to speak outside and tells him that she is spying on the Russians for her husband without his knowledge so that's a whole other plot twist happening right there. And she explains that while her husband might understand her spying, he won't understand about the crew finding a mineral deposit full of enough copper and lithium and all this fortune to change Afghanistan's economy forever, which then somehow would make Hamzad the president of Afghanistan. So then we go back to Chase and Zoe. They're talking in the car about, you know, uh, the Marsh addiction thing, what he has planned for her, what's happening with Morocco and everything. And, you know, uh, Chase is curious about Zoe and wants to know what's happening. He wants to keep her safe from the FBI and Hamzad. And, you know, once everything's done, between everything like he says he's not coming back at all it's going to be the daughter and zoe doing their own thing their separate ways meanwhile emily argues with harper on the plane and one tries to figure out like she can't decide over her father's orders and harold counters it by saying begging emily to lead him to chase therefore choosing angela it's crazy because now she's playing the duality role of being angela with harold harper and then now trying to figure out what she's doing as emily 
trying to protect her father, Dan Chase. She's furious that Harold uh, can't understand that she's trying to do the right thing, but Harold doesn't understand that at all. The acting between John Lifko is fantastic, along with the other actress that is playing Emily. And, you know, there's a lot of secrets in this, and it's really, really fun. So remember in episode four where Harold said Emily's mother's name? Well, basically, Emily figured out that he just said the name in order to test her to see if she was the mole. So that's how he figured it out in a way. It's really interesting and really fun. Now before the airport, uh, we go to a different scene where Chase and Zoe enter a parking garage and Trace instructs Zoe to wait in the car. While he says goodbye and drops off his dogs with a handler. Basically it's a dog hotel, he can't take the dogs with him. And Zoe asks Chase if he plans to come back at all and he says, no, I'm not. Now here where things get interesting. Now, you know Detective Waters, the loudmouth guy who I think is actually Hamzad's son, just in there to be a mole himself to find out information, but he stayed back evidently. Uh, he gets a call from Morgan Boat. Now, if you didn't know, Morgan Boat was the character that Harold Harper was talking to in the two episode premiere of The Old Man, where Morgan Boat is painting and, you know, he's saying something. And it's played by actor Joel Gray. So, as he hangs up the phone, we see Julian come in the hitman, the African-American man, and Julian asks him if he knew about the mole. And Boat explains that he knew about the mole in Harper's office because he put her there. Okay, hold on one second here. You're trying to ask yourself, how did Boat put her there? Well, Dan Chase asked Boat to put Emily under Harold Harper. And the reason being is that Morgan Boat is the father of both Dan Chase and Harold Harper. And he needs Julian to hurt both of his sons to send a message to prevent any of this from getting worse. So, what, what, what? Crazy, mind blown, like absolutely insane. Like, like you thought episode five couldn't get any crazier? Oh, it got crazy. It got crazy for sure. Now, Harold and Angela, or Emily, whoever you, however you want to call her, they reach their destination and they go into this area where their files are and they're there because they need to find the manifest where Harold Harper helped Dan Chase and Emily's mother escape Afghanistan and you know trying to figure out what's going on what's happening with everything and he calls the lawyer up and the lawyer's like okay this this and this but the lawyer's evidently like we needed more information so your files that you have are actually going to go public now can't figure out what and when Emily is speaking to Harold Harper in this file area of this little small little uh how do i say the basement of a building i want to say the duality aspect and how the camera work is done is great because emily's looking at harold but she's standing w uh, next to a cabinet that has a glass mirror and then you see emily but then you see another aspect of her and her reflection and you could tell it's like kind of angela it's angela or emily that kind of duality and it's really interesting not only that um the aspect of there's another scene where Jeff Bridges is sitting and waiting to get on the plane and you see him looking out on the tarmac and then once again the duality aspect comes in where it's either Dan Chase or the character of where he plays where he is John Kohler so it's really interesting how that works and how everything is happening and as they head on the plane, Zoe tries to convince Chase that there's more than just to be a protector or a murderer or whatever he is. I feel like this character of Zoe is there try trying to give Dan that momentum to be do the right thing. And together they board the plane and then the steward is like Mr. and Mrs. Dixon and then poof, that's the end of the episode. So it's a very, very dialogue in your face story driven episode that all these little nooks and crannies are coming out these secrets are being revealed of what's happening and why it's happening and it's just interesting because the aspect of finding out who morgan boat is his sons of dan chase harold harper so basically you can tell that something's going to happen and now that we know that they're both brothers are they both biological brothers are they half brothers and does emily know that she's with her uncle or half uncle and does dan chase know that his father's doing all of this what's morgan boat like morgan boat played by joel gray is that villain you want in a series 
by sitting in the background all of a sudden coming forward and revealing that big secret. It's very interesting how this show is going. I mean, it's based off of the book of the same name or the novel of the same name. And there's two episodes left. Two episodes left until the season one finale, which is episode seven. But then this series it did get renewed for a second season. So anything is possible. Now, I do want to say that in the beginning of each episode, there's a painting. And somehow I feel like these paintings with the dogs and the boat or whatever it is on this canvas is the paintings that Morgan Boat does. And I feel like the paintings kind of is a precursor as to what's going to happen in the episode. But we don't figure that out yet or we don't know. But I feel like slowly we do. A lot of secrets have been revealed in episode 5. A lot of things have been going on in episode 5. Probably the one of the best written episodes I've seen for a TV show because, you know, people say, oh, it's boring, it's dragging. No, it's not. There are so many secrets that you absolutely don't know what's going to happen next. People want action. You're probably going to get action in the next few episodes of episode 6 and 7. And we're probably going to get closure on this story. And then maybe we might get a new story for season 2. We don't know. But this season and this show is absolutely phenomenal and amazing. Great actors. Great to see Joel Grey back in a TV show kind of film for that matter. Jeff Bridges is great. John Lifko is great. Uh, Aaliyah Shawcott is great. And it's fun. It's great. I mean, like, the only thing I don't like is this character of Zoe, played by Amy Brennerman. I feel like she can do more, but she's not doing more. But hopefully in the next two episodes, she does more. So let me know in the comment section below what you thought about episode 5 of The Old Man. Did you like it? Did you not like it? What did you think of it? Did you like this crazy reveals and these secrets that we got in this episode? And uh, Do you like the cat and mouse game that's going on? Did you like that Harold Harper is more so smarter than we think he is? And, you know, and with teen Angela Adams and Emily Chase being the same person, what more to the story is there? I mean, now we know that Morgan Boat, his granddaughter, is now Emily, so that even throws more of a wrench into it. And what's going to happen? And do each of them know that someone else is doing it, or do they actually have an idea? Plus, I want to know more about this company that Dan Chase has and how he gets his money. Like, it's going to be interesting, and let me know, like, what do you see happening in the next few episodes? And do you think that... Waters is Hamzad's son and that him and Emily are half siblings. Let me know in the comment section below about the questions and the theories that you have for this season. I always love reading them. Uh, it's going to be fun for sure. So let me know in the comment section below about the questions I just asked and I'll see you all in the next review video and be sure you tune in next week for my episode 6 review of The Old Man.